Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to make a video about how to disassemble and put back together a Smith & Wesson M&P 1522. Now this will be remarkably easy. Now these days there are so many uh, dedicated 22 long rifles being made in the AR-15 platform. You might be wondering which one should I buy, whether it be a Colt, an h &K, a Smith & Wesson M&P 1522. Keep in mind that sooner or later, all of these firearms are going to need to be cleaned. And what I would say to you is this, nothing takes, gets taken apart faster and easier and put back together faster and easier than the Smith & Wesson 1522. So to begin, what, we would, what you would do to clean this, we're going to start by safety checking it. I've done that off camera, but just to make sure, definitely, definitely empty, no rounds in the chamber. There is a takedown pin right here on the firearm. You're just gonna push that takedown pin a little bit, and then you're gonna pull it through the other side. Once you've pulled it through the other side, you're gonna push up a little bit, pops right up, and then here's your charging handle. You just pull that charging handle and the bolt and charging handle, they both come right out. If you really wanted to take it apart even further, there's one more takedown pin right here you can press on that a little bit and pull that through from the other side. Give a little more pressure. That should come any moment here. There it is. So that one doesn't really come completely out, that other takedown pin. It kind of wants to stay there. Neither one of them actually come completely out. And there it is. The whole firearm is completely disassembled at this point. Uh, as far as cleaning is concerned, I always like to use Shooter's Choice uh, gun cleaning solvent. Uh, I've got a Q-tip handy. I have put a few rounds through the firearm since my last cleaning, but it's not terribly dirty. I just like to come around in here. This is your, uh, your bolt. You can see that it's taking off some of the uh, residue right now. I'll probably clean this a little bit more off camera. And then uh, from here, you can put that uh, tube, that uh, Q-tip into the breech. Get a little bit more of your uh, gun cleaning solvent in the breech area. And then from there, if you wanted to be a little more thorough, I like to use just a little bit of REM oil. Some of you might want to use a little gun scrubber. And just squirt just a little bit of it into the breech. And then from there, with a, uh, this is a boar snake made by Hoppies. I just like to feed the boar snake right through the barrel, right through the breech. You'll see it pop out the other side in a moment here. There it is. Once the boar snake has popped out through the other side, you'll just start to pull that right through. Piece of cake. There we go. Speed that through a little better. And one more time. There it is. You can do you can repeat that process one or two more times if you really need to, if you really want to. Put the put the uh, hoppies out of the way here. So that's the takedown and and the quick cleaning. Uh, you probably might want to use a little bit more um, gun cleaning solvent on your uh, spring and rod right there. As far as putting everything back together, we'll do this in the reverse order. We'll just set the, uh, the upper right on top here of the lower. Push this pin. So we can line this up just right and push the pin through. Well, let's see if we can get this lined up. This may be the trickiest part of it, is just lining up this, this front pin on the lower. There it is, that's through. So once that's through, the charging handle goes into the top, just kind of rests there. You have your bolt, which will kind of slide right in there. Press and then just drop that down. There it is, everything's back together. Uh, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, 
stay tuned because uh, next we'll be making a video of more of a complete review of the rifle. But for today, this video is just a, a quick little how-to guide of taking it apart and putting it back together. And uh, we hope that you'll like the video. We hope that you'll uh, take the time to subscribe as well. Thank you again.